Uh, my name is Robert Walton. Uh, I live in Minor Beach, it's a lovely part of the world. Being by the sea is something that uh, I find relaxing. Uh, walking on the seaside and just taking it easy, get me away from my work. My work can be stressful at times, so spending time down the beach with the children um, is my kind of way of living, so it's a good, it's a good way of life. What made me become a fireman? I suppose seeing my dad as a volunteer fireman, he has been a volunteer fireman for, well, I suppose, voluntarily over 40 years now down in Victoria. I kind of followed in his footsteps. I guess as a child, you you know, you have a toy fire truck, and that's kind of one of those things that we all joke about as firemen. It's kind of one of those things we never grew out of, you know. The thing that made me actually become a fireman was um, sitting on the couch and watching Stuart Diver being pulled from that the wreckage at Threadbow. I thought that's exactly what I want to do. So. Currently in the news, we we hear about. Um, a tragic fire out at Quakers Hill, you know, with a nursing home. For those firemen, they never anticipated um, that they would one morning uh, go to a fire as such. Um, for, 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 I guess every fireman's worst nightmare. Uh, you know, every fireman's worst nightmare is not being able to rescue someone. And, and so for me, yeah, it, look, it, you wake, you, you wake up in the morning, you go to work, you don't know what your day is going to bring you. Um, sometimes it can be exhilarating, sometimes it can be absolute tragic. It's just what the roll of the dice is in that day. The fire brigade teach teamwork. Um, from basically your inception, when you start as, a, as a, a, um, a recruit, right to the very day that you leave the job, you're part of a team. So you're trained to, to operate in a team, team environment. Um, so having your buddy next to you when you go into a, a foreign environment um, is probably the most comforting part, is the fact that you're not going to be left on your own and that you've always got someone to rely on. Um, I can recall a, a period of time where we were fighting a house fire and the ceiling fell in um, and the, the person I was with was forward about six feet. We were on our hands and knees and the ceiling fell in um, and fell directly on top of him and came down in front of me. Um, fortunately, he was all right. Sometimes it's really tough. It's really tough because you, you often do think, you know, am I going to come home today? Um, maybe if everyone thought that when they walked out the door and, the, and the, when they went to work, they would be a bit more careful, a little blah, less blasé, I suppose. That became very apparent to me uh, when I went to Christchurch um, because it was a 10-day deployment and I thought to myself, mm. <laughs> you know, we're going into a very dangerous area where we've got um, ongoing earthquakes going on. How's, how's this going to go, you know? I'd, I'd done a significant amount of training and instructing in um, what we call urban search and rescue, which is uh, exactly what we were doing over in Christchurch. We were under the one of the um, one of the buildings, and we had a quite a strong aftershock, and the place was still creaking and moving around, and there was dust falling and debris. And during the day, it was you feel okay because you've got your mind on the job. But late in the afternoon, that anxiety it creeps up on you. And it was by the end of the day, I was very, very thankful to be out of there because I thought that at some stage we would lose someone. If I could inspire my community, what would it be? I guess it would be tolerance. You know, being a, being a single dad who's a fireman, works shift work with three children. Um, you know, we're often looked upon, single, single parents are often looked upon with um, far less tolerance, I think, than married couples. For me, it's all a matter of coming here, coming home. This is, this is my place where there's peace and I can discharge here, or going for a walk down the beach, which is why, and again, I love living up here because it's close to the beach. That's my ability to discharge and ultimately having children having children that love you um, without any other motivations. Um, 
that grab your legs when you walk in the door. That's the thing that discharges me. Just seeing the smile on their face when you walk back in the door, nothing else matters then. So, yeah, it's tops.